More people may be able to take the bus in Bloomington Normal this year with or without exact change. Yeah, Connect Transit planning to modernize the way people pay for bus fare. It wants everyone to have access to public transportation. Liz Lape shares what paying for a bus ticket might look like and how it could also save you some money. Liz? Taking the bus could become simpler later this year for people in Bloomington Normal. Connect Transit plans to replace its current cash-only fare boxes, making it possible for anyone to use a credit card to pay for a bus ride. The transportation company says it's going to make getting around Bloomington and Normal more accessible. Unless you have a Connect Transit issued pass or cash, there's really no way for you to be able to ride our buses right now and pay your fare. Connect Transit buses in Bloomington Normal only accept cash or passes to ride, something the company is aiming to modernize. Company marketing manager Aubrey Staten says they're planning to add the option to pay by credit card this year. She says this will allow not only Connect Transit ID holders to pay quicker and easier, but anyone to ride the bus. They don't have to try and find a way to go get a pass, and even people who are just visiting the area they don't have to learn our system to, and learn where to buy those passes. They can just get on board, tap with their credit card or debit card. Staten says they also want to offer refillable smart cards that can be used to pay for bus fare. She says they also plan on adopting fare capping, which would save frequent riders paying with card money. So you would never pay more than, say, $3 in a day or $40 within a month. So it could actually be really beneficial for those people who are paying cash currently to get this benefit of fare capping by switching to their debit or credit card. Staten says for those who don't have a bank, don't worry. They won't be eliminating the option to pay with cash. She says the change will simplify the public transit experience. Right now we have about 10% of our riders that pay with cash. Other agencies that have put this in have actually seen that number decrease because it is more accessible. They don't have to make an extra stop to go get a pass. So we're hopeful that some of our folks who are paying with cash just find that this is a better way to, to be able to pay their bus fare. On top of all those changes, Staten says they also plan to redesign or create a new mobile app for riders, simplifying how people load money onto bus cards and pay for transportation. The proposal will go before Connect Transit board members at their February meeting.